So first thing, what you, what you want to do in the morning is you want to drink a liter of water. It's the first thing you want to do in the liter of water in the morning. Good stuff, good water for a good time. Easily wake up the body. Don't need to jolt it with caffeine. You'll jolt it with your banana smoothie later. But ease into it, start up everything, rev up your engine with clean water. So I'll be at class from 8.30 or from 8 until uh, probably about 5, 4.35. So this is what we got. We got three and a half jam witches, jam sandwiches with this Ezekiel bread. Organic bread, gluten free bread, really, really good stuff. And then we have banana smoothie. So in here is about 15 bananas or so. So let's see if that lasts. I might have to buy some something else, but this is what we're bringing, and this is what we're bringing it in. So all you need to do is get a backpack, put your Nalgene's on each side, and ride your bike to class. Easily done, not too heavy. This is food to go. This is how you do it. This is real life, tips in the life, tips in the college life, college life in the tips life, and the tips in the life life. There it is, dinner time, chowing down, good day, easy day, fun day, vegan day. When you eat something like this, rice, lentils, steamed vegetables, you don't want the shit afterwards. I'm telling you, you won't crave chocolate, you won't crave any of this stuff when you've had a meal like this. So this is about a half a pound of pasta and the same lentil dish. Easily done, easily done. We're here, in the room, diving into questions again. So put your questions down below. What do you guys want to know in the fro? So coming on the last bit of the 30 day, what I eat in a day, what I do in a day, what I eat in a day, when I'm in a day, challenge, thing, whatever you want to call it. Um... So, I mean, I don't know if you want to see these videos more. More of these videos. Or if you want me to speak real English. But let me know in the comments below. I'll try and speak. Anyway, so this is transparency. You wanted it. Here it is. So, um, ba -ba -ba, let's see. So I'm going on the questions from day 27. So, uh, let's check them out. How did you avoid coming off as preachy when you convinced your girlfriend to be vegan? That's a question you're going to ask her. I don't know if I am preachy, if I'm not preachy to her. Um, how did I come, not come off as preachy? I don't know. I don't. Because I don't, some people say I am preachy. Some people say my channel's preachy. My brother says my channel's preachy. He doesn't like watching it because it's preachy. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I used to be. Me. I don't know. Um, I think one man's preacher is another man's inspirational person. So I think it's, it's, it's completely subjective, but I think, I think cause it's out of love. It didn't come off as preachy to her, but I could be wrong. She might be saying, you know, you're preachy as shit, um, uh, which I don't think she's saying, but anyway, instead of sort of criticizing her, I sort of did it out of love and I said you know you, you you have these migraines and you don't know what to do you've tried everything I'm pretty sure they're caused by the dairy um, I'm pretty sure they could be caused by the dairy for you so why don't you try giving that up for a while she said cool she did it and she was cured doesn't get migraines anymore feels a thousand times better has her own blog where she blogs about her experiences on a vegan diet Check that out. I'll put the blog down below. But anyway, that's. I hope that answers your question. Um, but I could be preachy. I could not be preachy. Um, that is up to other people. And if they think I am, then whatever. Uh, I'm trying to convince my meat and potatoes family to adopt more vegan tendencies. Drop the meat. Keep the potatoes. That would be my advice is tell them to keep the potatoes. Load up on the potatoes. Twice three times, four times the carb intake than they're already getting. They'll be feeling good. 
My brothers also think that I've lost my mind because I don't eat animal products. Silly little bros. Any tips? First tip is be the example because I'm a little disillusioned um, at the moment because uh, my, I, my, I challenged my dad to do a two-month vegan challenge or just be vegan for a month, for two months. And he did it, but he liked doing the high-fat thing. He didn't want to eat a lot of oatmeal. He wanted to eat high fat. This is what he wanted to do. He didn't lose weight and he said, oh, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. He felt a lot better, even by eating standard American diet sort of ratios, high fat, high protein, lower on the carbohydrates. He was eating a little bit more carbs. But I don't know. He be, So my advice is be, be the example. And if people have questions, know the information. So you know, so you be well read so you can answer the questions or get a quick get questions answered to you and then have that be like, okay, well, I should know that stuff because that's a question I get all the time. Um, so that's tip number one is just be the example and be open for questions. Um, that's why I wear this shirt around. Today on campus, I don't know how many people ask me, oh, you're vegan? And then I had a conversation. I did like an hour-long conversation with a friend of mine and um, it didn't get argumentative and like it used to with me and blah, blah, blah. And Anyway, that's, I don't want to ramble. But in terms of family, being the example is the most important thing. And that's in life anyway. Um, also, showing them that they don't have to eat lettuce and carrot sticks for dinner and lunch. And eating abundantly in front of them and showing them that you're thin, but eating a high-carb vegan lifestyle is also key. But that's part of the first one. So... Just being the example. It's so powerful. When I was in Trader Joe's the other day buying groceries, this the uh, server, I mean the uh, cashier, um, you know, I, I, I you know, introduced myself and said who I was and um, asked what her name was. And she was so surprised. She didn't even know what to do. And I think, but she was pleasantly surprised. And I think that people... The more and more people see authenticity, like genuine authenticity and genuine passion and honesty, they'll become passionate and honest themselves. Because we live in such, we live in a culture that's re- pretty apathetic and pretty into this independent, independent hive mind, uh, independent mentality instead of a sort of unionized mentality. Does that make sense? So when you when you have when you're when you're going against the corporate structure when you're going against the meat the dairy industry and all the apathy that's in our world today when you when you become a sort of lighthouse that shines against that people find that so refreshing so anyway to answer your question loop back around just be the example for them if they don't want to do it fine. But somebody will. Somebody will see that inspiration and say, hey, what is she doing? I want on board. So, but like, like I said, I'm a little bit disillusioned because, you know, my family, even though I try to be an example, they still eat the shit. And every time my dad's cooking meat and I'm around, I kind of get a little heartbroken because I know he's slowly killing himself. And there's nothing I can do. Same thing with my brother. Smart guy. But he's killing himself. He's chain smoking cigarettes. He's 18 months older than me. Chain smoking cigarettes, eating crap, going to Wendy's, going to bars, and I mean, completely unsustainable lifestyle. He sees me, doesn't question. He asked me once, he said, he saw me, I was eating like a potato dish and he was eating macaroni and cheese or something. And I said, he said, he said, what's the one thing I could do to uh, not to be healthier? I said, I tried to think of one thing, but I said, well, stop smoking cigarettes. Um, Stop the meat consumption, dairy consumption, the fast food. Go to bed, not at six in the morning, go to bed at 9 p.m. Or as early as you can. And then the list went on. And he just walked away. He didn't want to hear it. And I, I wasn't trying to preach at him. I was literally trying to find something that he can connect with. But I just ended up saying the truth. 
But he walked away. He didn't want to hear the truth. So you can lead a horse to water, but the horse may not want to drink the water. But you can't force the horse to drink water. The best thing you can do is... The, and the water is truth. So you have to be thirsty to drink. So you got to have hunger in your life or you'll be starving for your whole life. So next question. Um, let me know if you don't like these rambles. Um, I could not do them. Because um, this, this, this has been one question and I'm completely over budget with time. Let me get one more question in at least. Um, um, questions, questions. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on fermented vegetables? I made sour cream. Got it. Um, I mean, in 801010, uh, if you read Douglas Doug Graham's book, 801010 Diet, there's a lot of great stuff on it. In it, um, I think he has a section on fermented vegetables. Um, I don't eat them. Um, but I don't know if I'm necessarily against them. I think, I don't know, I never liked sauerkraut or anything like that. Um, I've, I've had Carolina coleslaw in the past, but I've sort of come out of that. Liking that, I just, I'd rather have other foods now, high carb foods. Because I've, I've, once you eat this way for a, a little bit of time, you start to equate food with feeling a certain way. So I don't, like I see a meal now and I say, oh my God, that's going to make me feel amazing. Even before taste. So in a way, it's sort of like food's my drug. So it keeps me going. So a lot of times people, people want to be starved. People get starved instead of actually giving the body the fuel that it needs. So I was talking to a professor of mine, and he was saying, yeah, but I love to cook, and I love to do this. And I said, that's great. You can do that. And he's like, but I don't have time because I'm you know, chopping vegetables and doing this and cooking and this and finding recipes. And So automatically, he's, he's stopping that, that, that goal down, that dream down. He said, no, I can't do that. I won't be able to do that. A, it's really quick to boil rice or boil potatoes or steamed potatoes or boil pasta, what, five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes for rice, 40 minutes max for some varieties of rice. Come on. You could do that and then cut vegetables. And so you can, there's, you can always make time. And I mean, if you're gonna make an elaborate dish and stuff, I mean, Thoreau has this quote where he, he says, um, we're starved before we're fed. Be fed instead of being starved. Don't have a world of your life full of condiments saying, oh, I need this, I need this new thing, I need that. Focus on the basics first. Sleep, water, and carbohydrate calories. You get those and then you can focus on the other stuff. Then you can move outward. Then you can do what you want to do with your life. But if you don't have those basics down, you're just going to crumble. And you see it all the time. I, I experience people that are undercarbed all the time. I experience myself when I'm undercarbed. And I don't like it. I can't contribute as much as I can. Oh, but you're selfish. Bullshit. I take the time to take care of myself. The basic needs. Sleep, water, and carbohydrates. So I can give more to people. I wouldn't be able to do these all these videos if it wasn't for just that pyramid. So those are the fundamentals. Um, I, I hope that answers your question. Um... My question is about what you said about your girlfriend getting rid of her migraines. Was she taking medication? How long before they were gone? 
I know that everyone's experience is different on this lifestyle. I'm just trying to get an idea and get to get off the medications. I know it will eventually happen and I'm excited. Again, love your videos and thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Allison. Um, again, you can check out her blog. I think she did a recent blog where she talked about that. Um, but uh, uh, was she taking any medication? I don't think. I think they wanted her to take medication, but she said fuck that. Um, which was cool. Um, but I think she's on medication, on medication right now. I forget, I forget what it is. Um, but I mean, you could, you can go to her blog and ask her about that. Um, I don't want to give any f wrong, wrong information. Never yell at me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was astonishing how quickly they went away. Um, how quickly she felt better on this high carb vegan lifestyle. She's in Italy right now, and she's she's feeling fantastic, um, and she's able to do it in an Italian way. So Tom completely debunks. Oh, but you won't get any culture on a vegan diet because you know you had um, bruschetta and uh, ravioli, and you got all these Italian things that you can't eat because you're a vegan. Vegan gelato, she says. Best gelato she's ever had. So completely debunks that. You can follow your ethics and follow vegan diet. Or, or be worldly and travel and do all these things. Um, how did you come to this lifestyle? Oh, good question. Um, thank you, Sorsha. Um, so I came to this lifestyle because I just felt like shit. I was in college. My first semester of college, I was away and I was eating all the standard crap and I was doing stuff that everyone else was doing because I wasn't in line. I was just going through the machine. That's why I'm so passionate about this shit because I, because I realized I popped myself out of the matrix and I'm doing what I love and loving what I'm doing every single day. Can you feel me? We're here in the room talking about things. Uh, How did I get here? But I came to this lifestyle because I wanted, in all seriousness, I just wanted to feel better and I just gave up meat because instinctively I looked at it I looked at my friends eating it and they, <laughs> they didn't have smiles on their faces they weren't enjoying it they thought it was disgusting too looked back at the meat and I said I'm going to go get a vegetable burrito so I did I had cheese on it but I felt so much better and I said huh huh so then I went back to my dorm Immediately started doing more research about vegetarian diets because I didn't want to give up cheese. I knew that for a fact. I did not want to give up cheese. Held on to that like like a nutcase. Can't think of an analogy. Um, but so I did that, and I felt great. I felt so much better, and um, yeah. So I mean, initially I came to lifestyle because of health, but not even because I knew about vegetarian anything. I remember when I was 18, um, so not that long ago, when I was 18, I remember watching a video of Robert Lockhart sitting under a tree. Robert Hart Lockhart is a fruitarian, um, uh, into raw food lifestyle, and he was talking about just eating, or eating mostly fruits, eating some vegetables, some nuts and some seeds, mostly fruit, and I said, people eating just fruit? I called the guy an idiot, a, a, just completely bashed it, Com bashed him. And, and now I'm doing exactly what he was doing. So, I mean, that goes to back to the other question. Your family, you know, they might be bashing you now. My brother was bashing me, like I said. Now he tells me that he supports it. So, it just takes time. Just be the example. Um, and that's it. So, um... So yeah, I initially came to Lifestyle um, because I just wanted to feel better. And then I did more research and the ethics is what kept me going or what made me vegan initially. Um, and then health kept getting better. Started to do more sport. Started to find what I was passionate about. Um, and everything just skyrocketed. I mean, ever since that though, my life has just... I mean... I, that's, I mean, it was literally life-changing for me, um, coming to a vegan lifestyle.
So, if you're just into veganism or just finding out about, maybe this is the first video you've ever seen on veganism. I mean, it's it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Now, I'm only 22, but I think that's saying a lot. Um, so, give it a try. You don't have to eat like me, but high carb definitely is what our bodies are designed for. Um, so yeah, do what you want, live how you want. So I'm just here sharing my experience. That's all I can share. That's all I can give. That's all I can give. So like this video if you like this video. If you like these longer videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to keep doing these videos, also let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments below, or let me know what kind of videos you want to see, topics, whatever. Um, still want to do a book one. Um, hopefully, we'll, I'll do that soon. Um, just gotta poke myself into doing it. But yeah, so questions, comments, criticisms, even let me know what you guys. And I'll, I'll like I said, I'll answer them. Answer your questions. I'll answer all of them. So this is the Jaybird Simply Vegan. Signing out for now. I'm going to hit the hay. On the floor. So I, pro I should probably put, do a video about that. But anyway. So we'll see you tomorrow for another day. And uh, get to bed early. Get in the carbs. Get in the water. Feeling amazing. So Simply Vegan. Simply the truth. Simply awesome. Peace.